Hello everyone, this is Andre. Today I have some very exciting updates on the Ultra Pet, the CPU board, and the Micro Pet. Uh, all, it's all about software updates, uh, as you can see here on the boot screen, so stay tuned. So as you can see here, uh, there have been some very interesting additions and updates to the software and also to the programming on the FPGA. So let me show you the demo first. So the graphics has been updated quite a bit. As you can see in this demo, we have borders, we have raster line interrupts, we have variable character geometry. Um, the character is 8 bits wide, but has a variable height, and you can also select uh, how many bits to display in the, in the width. So that's what you see when the characters uh, get out and, and come back. We have an interlace mode, so all the other, the, the, most of the lines only show every second raster line. Here in interlace mode, you can have every raster line, which makes the image much more solid, but less looking like a CRT screen, more like an emulator. So I'll default to leave it off. You have a hardware cursor, you have different options. You can switch 40 and 80 columns. Uh, in a raster line interrupt. Um, you can use the double row mode to get 50 character rows. You can redefine the character set. Uh, you have high resolution graphics, sprites, and different color modes that are um, inspired by, on one side, the Commodore 128 uh, VDC or the ColorPad project from, from Steve Gray. So one particular demo I would like to show you is that you can very easily switch between two video modes uh, just by doing some pokes from basic. So what I'm going to do is uh, first I set uh, a specific uh, raster line address. Oh, let me put that here and then uh, you do that. This is uh, the same address that also at uh, the same register that also triggers the raster line interrupt. Then um, you have there is register forty, which is the which is the alt register, and now you can define to um, access alternative addresses for some other registers for the address register, for the color address registers, and so on, and whether they will be activated when the raster line matches. So, let me see if I can enter this. So what we see here is, this is, this is the raster line that's shown here. This is uh, 256 plus 150. And this register here tells um, at this address activate the other alternative mode. The alternative mode I've put in here is bitmap mode. But what you can see here is, it's, I don't know if you see it here, it's blinking and here it's blinking. You can see it moving around the blinking um, because this is also reading from the very same address that um, that video memory is working on. So in one of those bits tells uh, the address register for the uh, video base address um, is actually the alternate set now, which is register 12 and 13. So I can go and change those. Comma zero. So what you can see here is uh, maybe you can, maybe you can uh, very slightly have a look. Um, this is actually 
Now, uh, if I change the low byte too, but this is actually already, so already the same. But this is actually a peek into the character set memory, which is at address zero of the video bank. So you can you can just by poking uh, some values um, into these registers. I can I can change that one. And what you can see here is, is how the how the how the the whole area below moves up and down. You can just do that by pokes from basic, which I think is very cool. One other cool thing is uh, that you can see here, I have a USB keyboard here. Uh, let me show you. And I can put that into this uh, USB socket, connect it here like so. And then what you can read here is there's exp er experimental USB keyboard support built into the ROM now. And if I select My basic here with the USB keyboard, I can use the USB keyboard just like a normal USB keyboard. It's experimental mapping is not perfect yet. It's actually doing an American mapping, uh, standard mapping, not the German mapping I have here. But anyway, uh, what you also see here is actually You can also use a mouse if you like. So I'm using the track point here. Cool, isn't it? Another feature that's now in the uh, MicroPad and in the UltraPad is uh, support for the SD card that you can see here. This is a breakout board that I've uh, stuck into the SD card part of the um, of the board on the on the micro pad you have the the same connector for the uh, breakout board here let's see it's not the focus is not working really but anyway I hope you get it and um, yeah it's already built into the ROM so and if the SD card is attached. You see, this is the content of the SD card. And this is the same DOS that the Commander X16 is, X16 is using, uh, which is open source by Michael Style. Uh, it's a very cool stuff. Um, so I integrated it into um, into my ROM as well, which is very, 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 very cool. Some other patches that I did um, as well are the uh, uh, Commodore 64 jump table um, and some fixes to the syntax. So you can actually do this one. You don't have to clean out the PRGT behind that one um, and, and some, some small, small minor fixes. Um, are also included in this in this ROM. So in one, when you take out the SD card, then it's actually going on to the IEEE uh, bus. Uh, here I actually have my device running on unit nine. So, but if you have a, a disk on unit eight, you have to take out the SD card to, to be able to access that at, at uh, unit eight. Another thing I'd like to show you is something that I use to debug uh, the ROM changes, and that is the emulator. Yeah, in fact, there is an emulator. I patched the my old XCBM console-based emulator and you can actually run um, uh, the micropad in it. So uh, it, you have Control C as break. You have the usual commands. 
the disk emulation is totally crap. It's very, very basic, very simple, but just works. Um, you can press Control P for pause, and then you have a number of commands that you can enter just a little bit. You can go into the monitor, and then you can show you the memory around or do some debugging, whatever. Um, and X uh, brings it back to the machine, control P, X exits the, the monitor, uh, the emulator. You can also, uh, for example, use just a basic for emulator. And as I said, the emulation is very crap for whatever reason. In some cases, you have to add this asterisk after the name. But then you get uh, these programs here, and you can actually run some games. Basic functionality is there. You can use it. Um, if you go into trace mode, you can see speed goes down quite a lot. Uh, trace is indicated here. Uh, it will it will show uh, it, it will record everything it's doing in the log file, which is upad.log. And then you have all the all the code here. It's from the lib 65816 library, so you have to get used to. But it shows you everything you need. And that's what I what I use to uh, debug the machine. So if you have the MicroPad and not the newer Ultra CPU board, uh, you can run a uh, Commodore Pad uh, just on that single board without classic keyboard or drive now because we have the USB keyboard and we have the SD card uh, and it's exactly the, the same, very same boot ROM image. Uh, you can just run, use that, uh, let it boot. You can just uh, do this and Run your games on a micro pad from the SD card with a USB keyboard. So I hope you liked the updates that we had for the Ultra Pad CPU board, for the micro pad, all the updates for the for the software that we have uh, with the USB keyboard and SD card support and the emulator. Um, links will be all down in the description below. Um, so you can uh, uh, you can get everything uh, from GitHub. It's all there, um, and uh, so I hope you like it. And uh, see you next time.